Hey everybody and welcome to today's video where myself, Sarah Lean, will try to explain what Azure Stack HCI is. So what exactly is Azure Stack HCI? Well, it's a purpose-built hyperconverged infrastructure or HCI operating system from Microsoft delivered as an Azure service. It is an enterprise class software defined hyperconverged infrastructure that runs Hyper-V, storage bases direct and Azure inspired networking. It launched with stretch clustering for disaster recovery as a new feature and set the tone for things to come. It really is building on technology a lot of organisations who have been running Windows Server are used to and familiar with. Azure Stack HCI was designed with hybrid in mind. It wasn't an afterthought that came along after it was designed. It really was designed by the team with hybrid in mind. There is a resource provider in Azure for Azure Stack HCI clusters, which means that your clusters are represented in the Azure portal as resources that you can manage from the Azure control plane. And what we've seen from Ignite 2022 is a lot more functionality that allows you to manage your Azure Stack HCI cluster from within that Azure control plane. What this really means though, is that you can bring Azure innovations to the workloads that reside inside your Azure Stack HCI cluster. So for example, you could apply Azure governance constructs like tags and access controls, or even start to use guest management virtual machine extensions through the power of Azure Arc. This operating system is delivered as an Azure service. And so it's really built on a consumption basis, just like any other Azure service. Also, with Azure Stack HCI, the solution is always kept up to date with annual feature updates and monthly quality and security updates. This means for you that you no longer have to go through what was sometimes a painful process of upgrading an operating system or running the risk of running out of date operating systems. With Azure Stack HCI, we constantly see new features being added into it and you can upgrade painlessly, hopefully, um, through that. You no longer have to wait till the new version arrives before you can get those new features. And as I said earlier, Azure Stack HCI is built on technology you are familiar with. So you can leverage some of those existing skills and knowledge around traditional virtualization and storage solutions. Azure Stack HCI can be managed using Windows Admin Center, System Center, PowerShell, and a bunch of other tools, again, that you're familiar with. Microsoft offer the complete story across all the layers of this solution. So the infrastructure, the control plane, and the services. And even we saw at Ignite 2022 that they're going to start offering hardware as well that supports and comes with Azure Stack HCI pre-installed on it. Azure Stack HCI allows customers who are looking to modernize aging servers and storage to seamlessly extend their data center to the cloud and connecting to those Azure innovation services that we know and love. Also, for those that are looking to move towards modern application development, they can run Kubernetes on their Azure Stack HCI cluster. So AKS, the Azure Kubernetes service, runs on Azure Stack HCI and there's a lot of innovation around that area as well. Lastly, if you're wanting to bring PaaS services to your on-premise environment, you can also run um, Azure data services on your Azure Stack HCI cluster as well. So there's lots that Azure Stack HCI can do for you, both to maximize your on-premises environment and maximize your investment inside Azure as well. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, please smash that like button and hopefully I'll catch you in another video.